The world's biggest debate, LeBron or Michael Jordan? The second biggest debate, what's worth more buying, the Puffco Peak Pro or the Puffco Proxy? Now something to get out of the way, both of these are way too expensive. The Proxy starts at $300 US and the Puffco Peak Pro starts at $400 US and that's without the 3D chamber. With that being said, let's check out the newest product first, the Puffco Proxy. Now the Proxy resembles a tobacco pipe that your grandpa was probably smoking back in the day. It does not need water and has four different temperature settings. The proxy charges via USB-C and takes about an hour or two to charge. The one that I have right here is the Proxy Desert. It's like the brown tan version of the actual Proxy itself, which usually comes in black. This one's actually pretty sick. It's got a little chamber for your concentrate and it does not take long for that to heat up. If you wanna see the unboxing of this, on my shorts I actually uploaded a unboxing video of this. I'll probably link it up here in the card somewhere. That's pretty much the Proxy. Let's check out the Peak Pro. Now, the Peak Pro, this is the, the holy grail of puff coats, right? If you've ever seen a puff coat, it's probably a Peak. This specific one costs about $500, which is way over price, but that's because I do have a 3D chamber in here. You don't need it. Proxy doesn't have it and it hits great. But let's talk about it like it's a regular Peak Pro. Now the Peak Pro does need water and it can actually be customized from the RGB all the way up to the temperature itself. Now the Peak Pro does have a bigger chamber. So if you're used to taking bigger dabs with the Peak Pro, you can't really take those same size dabs out of the Proxy. It's not gonna work. But because the Proxy is a smaller device, you have to take that into account. Okay, the chamber can't be the same size. Otherwise it'll look kind of goofy. Where the Peak Pro really stands out is the app control. You can determine the colors, the temperature, Temperature, how long it heats up where the proxy you have none of that there is no Bluetooth there is no apps you can't control anything which is a bummer but if you understand the concept of the proxy it makes a little bit more sense all right let's get into the nitty-gritty who are these for right these are for like the newer generation the younger people older people too but people that really like their electronics and their smoke this is for them. Both easily handheld, and if you have a crossbody bag, you can definitely fit these in there. With that being said, if portability is your main driving factor, the Proxy wins all the time. Now the Peak Pro, it's small, it's a handheld device, but the Proxy is way, way smaller. Way better for portability as well, because the Proxy, again, it doesn't need water. You don't need to dump out your water and or like worry about it spilling in your bag. This one does need water, and like usually sometimes the water doesn't all go out. If you don't dump out all the water, there's like a little layer of just water that just kind of lingers there, and it's, it's a bitch to get out. The proxy, you can put it in with your stuff and then bring it back out. Nothing's gonna go wet. In the category of portability, the proxy wins. Now, battery life. Obviously, two different sizes. You can't expect the same battery for both of these. I've had the Puffco Peak Pro for so long and the battery does not show any signs of slowing down. This thing stays charged forever. I'll use this for a couple of days and then I'll have to charge it. On the other hand, the proxy is famous for not being able to last that long, which a lot of people might have that problem. On the Puffco website, it was listed that the proxy can last about 15 sessions while the Peak Pro can last 25 to 30 sessions. It might not even seem that crazy, but if you're like me, the last thing that I do after I sesh is gonna be charging all my stuff. It just doesn't happen. I'll wait till the day after if I have free time to like plug in all my stuff. And even at that, it doesn't even happen all the time. It's like the last thing on my mind. I will say though, if you have like an hour or two, you can definitely charge these up and they'll be good on battery. But if we're gonna talk about how long they last, the Puffco Peak Pro is the clear winner. Let's take a couple of hitters out of these and see how they compare. Gotta put water in this one. All right, both are fully charged. We got some some kind of rosin here. This is Appleford, I believe. Let's do a decent sized dab. Into the Puffco you go. Obviously you can adjust the temperature, but we're gonna go ahead and use one of the four presets. So we have white, blue, green, and red. So we'll go ahead and use the, let's do the green. I think the green is actually the medium. For the puff coast, all you gotta do is turn it on and then double click, and then it starts heating up from there. Now we just gotta wait. All right, it's done. Let's try it out. And now the proxy. You know, you know when people say, oh, I wish I had my dream job? This could be a dream job for you. This is definitely my dream job. And um, yeah, I wake, up ha I wake up happy every day. This is dope. Insanely grateful for everyone that makes this possible. All right, Puffco proxy. S same concept, turn it on with the side button like this. And then when it's turned on, hit it twice. Blinks twice, and now let's you know that's heating up. All right, it's heated up. All right, let's hit this. Honestly, just, whoa, that's really smooth. And compared to the Peak Pro, that was really smooth. No water needed. It's a little bit tastier too. I'm getting more lemon out of this one than the Peak Pro. Huh.
I don't know, man. I think I never thought I'd say this, but I'm starting to like the proxy a little bit more than the Puffco Peak. I feel like there's not as much air for it to travel through, and then there's no water for it to filter through. So in turn, you get a more flavorful hit. I feel like for the Peak Pro, it's going through water, it's getting filtered, and then what you have left is a smidge of what the terpene should be. The taste the difference is evident. Like if you can, if you've compared the Peak Pro and a proxy, you can tell there's a taste difference. I don't know exactly by how much, but I can tell that this is more tasty than this one right here. I enjoy the hit a little bit better with this one. Customizing the Peak Pro is very cool, don't get me wrong. The app control, Bluetooth, change temperatures, duration, that's cool. I feel like I'm not that much of a snob with dabbing. I feel like if I can get like a good temperature setting, I'll just keep it at that and then just enjoy the hits for what it is. Again, we go back to the question, which one should you buy? If you're in the market for a Puffco, it just kind of depends on what you want out of it, right? You want portability and convenience, obviously the proxy is gonna be the one for you. It doesn't even have to be in this per se, this is just a casing. This is the actual proxy. So there's so many different things you can actually insert this to as far as like a vessel to smoke out of. Does that make sense? A vessel, that sounds weird. There's custom glass out there. If you've seen the droplet, you know that you can use the proxy to put inside the droplet. Peak Pro, you need water. I mean, I guess you don't need water, but you kind of have to use water. If I'm staying here or somewhere else where I can be stationary, probably the Peak Pro, but for convenience and portability, oh, I'm taking the proxy all day. Way cheaper than this. I'd be more happier spending the 300 on this than spending 500 on this. I'm just gonna say it how it is. And that's coming from someone that loves customizing an RGB, but it's just a different hit. You get more convenience out of this one, and honestly, it's way cheaper, and I feel like this would be the better option for the everyday consumer. Just my personal opinion, but if you're still set on buying a Peak Pro, buy the Peak Pro, it's like 400, it's like 100 bucks more, and if you want the 3D chamber, you can always upgrade to that later on. But starting out, if you want something that's gonna be all compact, I think the Proxy is the complete winner. Never thought I'd be saying that, I really do love my Peak Pro, but for the sake of everything all wrapped together in all one general statement, I think the Proxy is a little bit better for the everyday consumer. Yeah, you're not getting baby claws out of this. This thing rips. This thing is so sick. I think, can you go to PuffCon with this? That is not bad. All right, I think that's gonna be the video, guys. Make sure you like the video. Please drop a like. Subscribe if you're new here. We got a lot of different things coming out in the next couple of weeks. Well, a couple of days, but over the span of a couple of weeks, we're gonna have a lot of new things. Make sure to do all the YouTube stuff because uh, it really does help the channel. It helps me so I can help you. Does that make sense? I don't know. All right, I appreciate you guys. See you guys later. Everyone take care. Bye.